Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. In last video, I show how to convert my 3D printer into pick and place machine. In this video, I will show you how I use the uh, 3D printer to support the um, changing the nozzle heads. Okay, now you see the um, application, the open PMP has already connected to the um, to the printer, so I need to uh, home first. So I do the homing. I make it a little bit slow uh, for now because um, I need to test the um, the ability of uh, rotation so that um, the chip during move during the movement doesn't uh, move to different locations. Okay, now you can see it has been uh, home now. Uh, what I need to do is now I'm going to set it to the camera calibration place. So it's actually moving to the camera. So now it's in the camera position. Um, but, but usually I will um, adjust a little bit of the camera position. Here, yeah, I just trying to make it align for now manually. Okay, which looks good. Um, yes. So now the now the the other thing is I need to make sure the head, um, the nozzle is able to mount it uh, correctly, and so I had to go to the uh, the nozzle place here. Yeah. I have to go to the nozzle and then I can check on the tool changer. Uh, first, I would like it actually to stay on top of it and see if the position is uh, correct. So now you can see it's actually move, move to the location of the head here. And now I'm gonna check a little bit uh, just to make sure that it can it can pick up. I will lower it down manually first just to see the location is still good okay it seems to be not so bad you can see it has the head has been moved down so um, what I will do now is there is a place here I come here to say mount the tool so I just need to uh, make it mounted automatically uh, to the tool, to the head, and let's see if that's working. So I will just click on it. Ah, okay. So let me see. It does uh, move. That means it thinks something is still in the head. Um, let me see. Nozzles. And nozzle tips. Okay, it thinks the small is still there. Uh, okay, so I had to make it a mount. So let me see. I first, I can first raise the. Okay. Uh, anyway, I need to test so I can manually take this one out and then um, maybe I need to. Okay, now I just mount it manually for now. Okay, now you can see I mount it manually here, but then I want to see if it's able to unmount. So I'm just... Okay, it seems the position is alright, so I will click on this unmount button here this one so that it should unmount uh, the head the nozzle tip and then it try and let me see so now you can see it's going up to the safe position and then it's going down um, ah yeah 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 okay so I actually forgot one thing 
I didn't I didn't connect this stepper motor here, therefore this one doesn't rotate. So I had to um, close the machine and then um, connect to the stepper motor. So I need to do it again. Let me do that now. Um, but I first remove this one and put it into here. Then I close the machine and I move this one and here. I have the stepper motor here. Okay, so now the stepper motor has been connected. I made this adapter um, so that it could drive this stepper motor. So, okay, let's uh, uh, start once more. So, let me, let me start the machine here. Okay, now it's started. And let me do this. So I'm firing up the open PMP again. Now, as you can see, everything works. I need to make it connect first. Okay, now it's connected. I need to home the um, device, home the 3D printer first. So let's see. Now you can see here. The head is moving to the home position. So next, I'm just gonna uh, let it directly um, mount uh, the tool head. Okay, so the homing is finished. Let me. Um, so now there's another tips. I want to mount the smaller one here, uh, as you can see, and then I will just click on this mount button so that it should go over to the uh, smaller head. So now you can see it's um, trying to go there, trying to go to this one, and then trying to mount it. Hmm. Yes, you can see the head is down. Okay, now it picks up the uh, the head, which is uh, which is good. So I go to the um, the camera. So I want to um, maybe I can just directly do it here. So I want to go here and want to do calibration. So let me um, first calibrate the the head. So when I do the calibrate, so it will move over. So it's calibrating. There are some miss uh, detections at some point, so I need to fix a little bit of the detection pipeline. So basically, after you see after the aligning, it's actually uh, centered, and then I can test by just um, changing the by rotating automatically. Then you can see you can see this head it should move outside. So and then we have the good calibration. Yeah, so. I think it was okay and this head actually when you see this hole it's actually about uh, 0.2 millimeters which is uh, let's say quite accurate and when I click you can also see here the nozzle tip is moving so you can see actually the step stepper motor is driving the, the rotation which is a uh, good and then I need to see if uh, moving up and moving down. I feel like there's still a little bit rotations of the um, of this uh, camera, so I can also do this um, calibration of the rotation of the camera. 
so I can do this calibrate here mm. but first I need to maybe adjust the pipeline a little bit so let me see yes so maybe I can put it to 100 here um, 110 does it go away um, 0.5 okay so 116 the, the goal is basically to move remove everything but just only the the, the nozzle tips um yeah which looks good and then we can say yeah you're actually able to detect okay so i save the pipeline and i do the calibrate again and you can see here we start moving so this time it's detecting um, only the the head which is good now you can see it's actually centered but um, I want to calibrate the camera so let me just first make sure let's do the calibrate here as you can see here Now it's start calibrating. So what it does is you can see here it's actually start to move the 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 head the nozzle head uh, around and then trying to figure out what's the rotations of the camera so that it could know um, what exactly is the rotation. Okay, so now it can it calibrate true so let's see um, yeah now it looks all right so let's do another calibrate because every time when you calibrate the, the camera uh, rotation you need to do this uh, head calibration again can see the rotation here and also the detection here okay and then the next uh, step of course then we also need to uh, we need to check a little bit of switching of the nozzle head okay now I will try to see if we can remove the nozzle head uh, prop <coughs> properly so in here and um, there's a remove nozzle head I have the smaller one so I just to let it remove just to test this uh, functionality so we actually move to the position as you can see and it's replacing down okay now you can see the nozzle head is uh, actually leave to the position uh, for the bigger one uh, we haven't checked yet so we can um, just before it uh, mounted we can check if the position is good so we um, can first go to the other one and just test a little bit okay I will just lower this down manually just to check the position okay, the position looks good so now I can actually press the mounted like this button so we can see if it's, a, it's able to pick up the um, it's able to pick up the bigger one, the different one. Yeah, okay. Now you can see it pick up the, the bigger one. Okay, so till now I show how the automatically change nozzle tip works. I hope you enjoyed the video. So thanks for watching. So see you next time.